Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going to be going over everything that you're going to have to do to make your own custom airlines for Tower Simulator 3. So once you've done this, you'll be able to put them into your own custom schedules and you can make whatever airlines you want. So they can be fictional or they can be real world ones. So if you want, you can make the real world airlines for whatever airport you want. And then you will be able to use them without having to spend $20, $30 on real traffic. With that, let's get on with the video. Okay, so we start off in our main directory for Tower Simulator 3. If you don't know how to get there, that's just in Steam. Go to the game and then it's settings, manage and browse local files there. And that will take you to this page here. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go into airports for all the databases that we use. And then whichever airport you want to make the custom airlines for, you have to go into there. You can't do it for all the airports, unfortunately. So I will be going into Heathrow and then it's databases and then you won't see these two here, you will only have the default one. So you're going to want to make a copy of that. And then whatever you rename this to is what the database will be called once you go into the simulator. So I'm going to just call this tutorial. And then in here is all the files that we're going to be editing. Whatever you do, do not go into the terminals file with something like Excel because it always has commas separating all the different gates. And if it's a really long list of gates, then it will try to convert it to standard form and that will get rid of a lot of your terminal, so it won't work. So make sure you don't open that. If you do accidentally open it, then you can always go back to default and then just copy it um, into here. And then hopefully it should replace it with the proper one. So the one we're going to be using for airlines is this one called airlines here. So we're gonna go into here. Um, these are all the default airlines. So it gives you a good idea of what you're going to need to do. So I'd recommend keeping all of these here as default, just in case something goes wrong, you can keep them there as a backup. I'm going to start off by adding a number of the airlines that operate to Heathrow normally. So obviously we have British Airways, so that's BAW for the airline code. Their call sign is Speedbird, um, the name of the actual airline, and then their country code is GBR for Great Britain. So basically here is what their call sign will show up as on your display. Here is the call sign that you're going to have to say when you use the voice recognition. This is shown on some of the displays, I think. And then the country code, I'm not entirely sure what that does. Um, I'm fairly sure it's important. It might um, do something to do with the accents that the text-to-speech engine uses. I'm not entirely sure. So you can just go through here and fill out as many of these as you want. I have had an experience in the past where I filled out loads of these and it just sort of stopped spawning a lot of them. Uh, so I'd recommend keeping it yeah, so you don't have too many airlines in there, um, certainly to start off with, and then you can slowly add more and then see at what point it starts to break. So I will also add shuttle, which is British Airways shuttle, and that's uh, also Great Britain. I'll add American, I'll add Delta. So you can just go through and add as many of these airlines as you'd like. So you can always use uh, something like Google to just check what all their call signs are. You can go into Flight Radar to check who operates to the airport that you're making the custom airlines for. And then obviously make sure you save it once you're done. So with that, the video is over. Uh, I know it's a lot easier than you might think it is. It does get slightly harder when you go into making the schedules, but that's just because it's quite a big file. Um, so it can look quite daunting. So yeah, with that, this video is over. You've added all your custom airlines, but before you can use them in the game, uh, you're going to have to add them to your schedule. Uh, so that will be in the next video, which is up here in your bottom right corner. Uh, so that will be our next video, which is on the end screen now. So I'll see you over there.